Denzel the Eiffel TV in the Social Center UK Global with me. I've got Showtime executive Stephen Espinosa. Great to have you back in the UK. Looking very well, sir. Um, it's great to be back. It's been uh, a regular pattern this year. Indeed. Let's talk a little bit first about Conor McGregor. He's been very critical of Showtime and yourself included this week, which has been quite different. How have you handled that? How have yourself responded to that? It's uh, it's surprising. It took me caught me a little bit off guard. Uh, you know, it's it's tough sometimes to take the high road, but. Um, you know, I, I think this uh, this promotion has far enough uh, of a rivalry, enough uh, heat in it without me adding my two cents. So, um, you know, if he wants to direct some of the barbs my way, you know, no problem. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm smart enough to know that I'm not going to win in a trash talking contest with Conor McGregor. Have you and Conor McGregor had any underlining arguments in the past? Would there be a reason why he was directing so much animosity towards yourself? Uh, no, it started out respectfully, um, you know, in Los Angeles. Um, although I, I really, we don't interact much since we're traveling separately. Um, and the, the only interactions I've had in the last couple of days have been, you know, on stage. So uh, I'm not really sure what's, uh, what's behind it. Um, or, or really, um, whether he's half kidding or whether this is for show, it seems pretty genuine. It feels pretty genuine, uh, but I just haven't run into him. Floyd, Floyd Mayweather always seems to be very dominant in the press conferences. He likes to be in control. Do you think Conor McGregor's rattled him with some of his antics in the press conference tour thus far? I think they both had their uh, moments. Uh, I, I think there was, there's been a um, there have been points where Conor was rattled. Uh, I, I think he's been bothered. Um, a good bit by Floyd bringing out the three losses and the three submissions and labeling him a quitter. Um, I think there have been times where, um, you know, the, just the, the, the bravado, the overall uh, attitude of Conor McGregor has gone under Floyd's skin. So I think it, to the extent that that was their goal, they've both been successful. Do you think Floyd Mayweather was offended when Conor McGregor reached for the backpack and insinuated that he, he, he had trouble with his schooling and his reading, which has been sort of well documented in the past? Yeah, that's, um, you know, that's uh, one of those things that is, that is perceived, um, you know, uh, you know Floyd, you know, he's done multiple things off cue cards for us, uh, out of teleprompter. His reading's fine, but it's, it's something that uh, um, has, has uh, continued, and the crowd has got on for the, uh, the alleged tax delinquency as well. I mean, there's a lot of material on both sides, and both uh, fans and fighters have, been, uh, have not been shy to use it. Quite finally, now, HBO and Showtime and everybody have done some massive pay-per-views in the past. How big and how many numbers do you expect the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor pay per view to do well after we um, we finished with Mayweather Pacquiao and got the final results. I think everyone involved says, you know, we're never going to see another event at that level again, and probably another uh, business performance like that again. And yet here we are, roughly two years later, and I, I think we're starting to feel like we might be in that neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. Never can count on buys this early, but by whatever measures we have at this point from. Uh, website traffic to from video views from views of the live press conferences uh, by every measure this fight is off to a stronger start than Mayweather Pacquiao was and that's um, that's saying quite a lot this is James Holder for IFL TV Stephen Espinosa thank you very much for your time today, happy sir. to do it thank you